Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from OnlinePhotographyTraining.com. In this video, I'm going to demo and give a review of a piece of software called Photo Lemur. I'll be working with version 2.2, but it's my understanding they're coming out with version 2.3 at the end of June. And right off the top, full disclosure, I am an affiliate for Photo Lemur. Now, let me say too that I believe Photo Lemur isn't for everybody. I think a very small segment of the photographic community will get something out of Photo Lemur. Let me try to explain. Most of us take pictures and we shoot raw and we like to process those raw images ourselves and make them our own. Photo Lemur takes a raw, images, raw image and process it for you. So it's kind of a one-step thing. You just drop a raw image into it, and it will process it from start to finish. Now, you could shoot JPEG in your camera, but a lot of people don't care for the JPEG that their camera produces. I get a lot of emails from people telling me that. Also, some people want to shoot raw, but they don't have time to process the image right away. Maybe they did a a wedding or something like that and they want to get some uh, proofs out there as quickly as possible but they don't have time to process several hundred images so they shoot RAW and JPEG but then they run into problems where it fills up their buffer of their camera very quickly it's slow to write to the memory card it fills up their memory card so they run into issues there so there's like I said a very small segment of the population probably will get anything out of photo lemur but I know there are people out there that might like it, hence I'm doing this video in review. Now, Photo Lemur, in my opinion, does a really nice job, but it does have its shortcomings. I did pick a number of images, and a couple of them I picked to kind of show what their shortcomings, at least in version 2.2, are. So I have, these are totally non-processed raw image images. Now, Photo Lemur will do raw, JPEG, TIFF, and PNG, the image must be 800 by 600 pixels. So I have this um, beach scene. It, it's not processed at all. I have this scene not processed at all. And also I chose different cameras. Uh, this was shot with a Nikon D800E. This was shot with a Sony um, A7S II, I think. This was shot with a Nikon D7000. Uh, this was shot with a Fujifilm X-T1, and this was shot with a Nikon D800E again. So we're going to process all of these images into Photo Lemur. So I have them on my desktop here, and we'll take the beach image first. Now you can drag and drop all of them in at once, um, but it does take a while. I'll tell you right away, it doesn't do it instantly. And you'll see, I'm going to take this beach image and just drag it right there. And you can see that it's analyzing image, looking for faces. So this is the, you know, algorithms it's going through to process the image, looking for skies and whatnot. And from what I understand, the new version 2.3, which they're calling Phoenix, when it comes out at the end of June, uh, it will do this much better and faster. Uh, so I have not used that new product yet. So when you're done, you come up with this and you have this little uh, line, draw line here, and you can see when I push it over to the right, that's the before and there's the after. So you can see it did a very nice job. Now, shortcoming number one, which from what I understand is going to be fixed or being um, better, at least in the version that will be coming out at the end of June, is the export function. When you want to export this now out of Photo Lemur, we click here and you have a bunch of choices, which is nice. You could send it right to Flickr, to send it an email, put it on Facebook, Twitter, or send it to a plugin, Snap Heal. If you want to save it to your disk, you click there, and it will come up with whatever. If you're using Windows or Mac, it will come up with that um, operating system default for you to export it. You could see it did here. So it's giving it, you know, the original name, and I could rename that, of course. I could say where it goes. I could export it to the JPEG, PNG, TIFF, whatever. But, and I could adjust the quality. 
but I can adjust the size. I don't want to often export a full size image. Uh, I prefer to maybe, if I'm sharing it on Instagram, make the long end uh, 1080 pixels long. Or if I'm exporting it to Facebook, I'd like the long side to be 2048 pixels long. So that is one limitation. But from what I understand, in the new version of Photo Lemur, which is coming out at the end of June, you'll be able to resize the image on export. And you have more functionality with the export dialog. And you could create presets, from what I understand, export presets. So that will be nice. So that is number one. Now I'm going to get rid of this. We're not going to save it right now. And we're going to start over. And we'll pick this second image, which is the Sony RAW file. The previous one was the Nikon D800E RAW file. And you can see it's doing its thing, looking faces, looking uh, improving exposure, enhancing the white balance. It tells you as it goes. And you can see it did a really nice job on this one, I think. There's before and there's after. Also, if you think that the effect or the processing it did was too heavy, you could pick, click on this little brush right here and we could kind of fade out the processing so it won't be as intense with this boost slider right there. So you could do that very easily. So you could, if it, if it over processed your image, you could just dial it back a little bit. So we're gonna close that one down and we'll go to a uh, Fujifilm X-T1 RAW file. And again, this does JPEGs, TIFFs, and PNG files as well. And from what I understand, the new version also has improved JPEG processing. So if you're going to be using this for JPEGs, maybe you shoot JPEG and you just don't like the JPEG your camera gives you sometimes, you could put it in here. So uh, this is before and this is after after. So that did a really nice job, I think, on that one as well. So we'll start over on this one. So we'll go to a DNG file here for test. And this is going to uh, demonstrate another, uh, what I consider to be a limitation of the software. So as it goes through, it's enhancing the white balance. It's doing all its good stuff, looking for skies, covering colors, and it did a great job with the processing, but there's one thing that is wrong, and it's really bugging me. Can you guess what it is? It's crooked. It doesn't straighten a crooked image. So, you're going to have to make sure you shoot super straight. And don't uh, try to put in a crooked image because it won't straighten it, or you're going to have to straighten it afterwards. The processing itself, though, I think it did a fantastic job on this image. So we'll get rid of that one. And the next one is a shot with people in it. And I'm going to talk about another limitation of the software with this image. And once it does, it's doing the white balance and everything else. And as far as um, images with people, um, it does an OK job. I, I tend to, my style is though, for people, uh, I like like a super blemish free face usually. I, I usually like make, I usually overexpose my portrait slightly to kind of wash out the face because I like the face to be um, really blemish free. This doesn't do it that way. So you're going to see the blemishes. So that's my personal like, you know, thing, not really a fault of the software. Now, as far as this, you can see it, it did minimal processing here. It did really some sharpening and a little bit of color enhancement. But the other issue I have, you see how I must have been daydreaming here and I have them off center. See how they're, I have all the space over here and nothing over here. So I need to crop this image. I can't crop it. There's no crop function in this version of photo lemur, 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 photo lemur, sorry. Now, I don't know. I looked. For the new version that's coming out, I looked at the specs and stuff. It doesn't appear, I could be wrong, but it doesn't appear there's any straightening or crop function in the newest version either. So that is, to me, a limitation of the software. So that's that. So that's Photo Lemur. Now, I did mention at the top, and I'll mention it again, I am an affiliate 
for Photo Lemur. I just became an affiliate last week because I tried out the software and I did like it. And I do think that some of my viewers that just don't get Lightroom or don't get on one photo raw or just in a real hurry and they need to get some images processed very quickly will get something out of Photo Lemur. So with that, there'll be links below this video. Uh, they're having a deal now on their newest version. It's a pre-release special. I think it's going for $39 and it's regularly like um, $49. But you get a lot of extras with it. You get like four ebooks with it. It'll be listed below. And I think that's going just to the end of May. Hopefully they extend it. Uh, if you're watching this video after that and that special is no longer available, I do have a discount code. Now it won't work on the special, but it will work on their regular purchase of the software where you'll get 35% off. All you need to do is use my link and my discount code and you'll get 35% off the software. So check out Photo Lemur. They do have a uh, free trial and see if it works for you. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.